Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we simplify tech for enthusiasts and beginners alike. Today, we're diving into motherboards, specifically, form factors. If you've ever been confused by terms like ATX, Micro ATX, or Mini ITX, this video will help you understand what they mean and how they impact your PC build. Let's get started. So, what exactly is a motherboard form factor? Simply put, it's the physical size, shape, and layout of a motherboard. The form factor determines how the motherboard fits into your PC case, how components are arranged, and what kind of features it can support. The most common form factors are 1. ATX, the standard size, with the most features. 2. Micro ATX, a slightly smaller version, great for compact builds. 3. Mini ITX, ultra compact for small form factor PCs. Let's start with ATX. This is the most popular form factor for desktops. ATX motherboards are typically 12 by 9.6 inches and offer plenty of space for multiple PCIe slots, RAM slots, and advanced cooling solutions. If you're building a gaming PC or workstation, ATX is often the go-to choice because of its expandability. Next, we have Micro ATX, a slightly smaller form factor at 9.6 by 9.6 inches. These boards offer fewer slots, but still pack enough features for most users. They're great for budget builds or mid-sized PCs. And then there's Mini ITX, the smallest of the three at 6.7 by 6.7 inches. These are perfect for compact or portable builds, but usually have only one PCIe slot and fewer RAM slots due to their size. While they're not ideal for heavy multitasking, they're great for media centers or minimalistic setups. Speaking of efficiency, if you're managing multiple online accounts across devices, you'll love GoLogin, the best browser for multi-accounting. With GoLogin, you can manage multiple accounts without worrying about overlapping cookies or IPs. It's perfect for multitaskers who want secure, seamless browsing. Check out the link in the description to try it today. Now, how do you choose the right form factor for your build? It depends on three main factors. One, your PC case size. Ensure the motherboard fits your case. Two, your needs. Do you need expandability or compactness? Three, your budget. Smaller boards are often cheaper, but they may lack certain features. And that's a quick overview of motherboard form factors. From ATX to Mini ITX, each has its pros and cons, depending on your build. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll dive deeper into the pros and cons of each form factor. Don't forget to check out GoLogin. It's a game changer for multi-account browsing. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.